Alrighty, folks. Welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. In the last episode, we uh, we had a very different looking farm, actually. In this episode, I kind of redecorated everything. I reorganized our crops. Ooh, that's me. That was my phone. And I also upgraded some tools. I finished out spring. Lastly... I, I changed up the mods that we were using, so we have some, some more advanced mods going on here, including one that changes up the layout of the farm, so that's kind of why I reorganized the whole farm. So, let's go ahead and see what we got going for us. First things first, having the copper watering can, godsend. That shit is so useful. Uh, let's go ahead and water up all of these blueberries. I tried to style the farm similarly to how I had it last season, and I think I've relatively done a good job. Having the copper watering can, let me tell you, it's like night and day. This is so fucking nice. And I just get to row water across the entire way and it's all done like immediately it's made for someone like me lazy <laughs> that said this is probably the biggest uh field that we're gonna have for a while like we don't really need that any more space than we have here at least in the way of farming not at first especially since we have no money I literally had to bottom bottom out my, my bank account just to fill up the crops for this season. That should tell you a lot, honestly. <laughs> I also moved our well all the way down here. That way it's in a, a little bit more of a convenient spot. Alrighty, very cool. Once I finish watering today, I don't know what I wanted to do. I have an upgraded axe and an upgraded pickaxe, which is very nice to have. Maybe I should still clean up the farm. There's still a lot of farm cleaning to do. Since I redid the farm, it actually redid all the things that were on the ground. So I had to like make a basically a day one farm starting at spring one or summer one. Sorry. So I was like a whole season late. But, in one week, I think I caught myself back up pretty nicely. Let's see here. So, I'm not even sure, like, what is around. So, let's find out. Looks like we got a little bridge over here. Holy shit. Wait, what is this? This is like a whole extra area. Oh, wait, we got forgeables over here on the left? On the farm? That's crazy. And I think I actually needed a sweet bee, so that's perfect. Okay, okay, we take that, we take that. What's over here? Is this, like, another way up? This is crazy. There's, like, a bunch of stuff over here. Wow, okay, so the farm is way bigger now. I'm actually kind of surprised at how much bigger it is. Let's head on over here. Oh shit. This brings us... It looks like this is Cinder Snap Forest. This is the secret forest. No way. That gives us access to hardwood really, really early. Alright, there's, uh, there's quite a bit of danger here. <laughs> I'm getting fucked up by all the slime. There's so many slime here, this is crazy. 
Here, I'm eating a grape. Wow. The secret forest is huge. What's in here? Oh, I can't interact with this. What are these? Whoa. Red Banesberry? I've never even heard of a Banesberry. This is so sick. Oh no, I just died. Fuck. The slimes actually killed me. I was just ignoring them. Jason? Harvey found me. Oh man. I wonder what I lost. I could have lost a lot. I, I charged $36. That was literally the last of my money. We lost the uh, the hardwood we just collected. But now we know that there's like a whole secret forest area down there. Oh, shit. Let's head on back, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, Harvey. You're the man. Alright, we've been resuscitated. And now it's uh, 120. Abigail, how you doing? Do you have an urge to just go explore, Jason? Literally all the time. Okay, pretend you want a free vacation. Where are you going? Do I want the peach? Ugh. Oh, not a JoJo Mega Ball. I think a dark cave would be pretty cool. That'd be a fun place to explore. So I still have my Bane's Berries. That's a, that's a good find, if anything. And I think I can donate a Sweet Pea in here. I might be able to get actually a couple rewards for like summer planting. So let's see what we can get for the summer forging. Bundle complete! Da 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 da! What do we got? What do we got? Yes, we got summer seeds. So we can't really plant them at the moment, but summer seeds are really, really helpful. They're gonna increase our foraging potential. And we have the bulletin board. Let's see here. What's on the belt of work? Oh man, we got a bunch of shit. I have to somehow figure out how to get wine. I literally don't even remember how to do that. Red cabbage! Fuck the red cabbage, bro. Speaking of, it's actually Sunday. We should go check out the red cabbage right now. Just in case. Hey, what's up, Harvey? Yo, he says he doesn't make enough to make ends meet. We literally got charged $36, because that's all we had. We ran this sucker up. I, like, almost feel bad. Who the fuck are you? Martin? I have never seen Martin before. How do I get to the uh, to the traveling cart sales? Oh shit! It's a cutscene with the kids. Oh, looks like he's gonna cry. I think Marlin has the key. Marlin, the man who hunts monsters? So I have to find this Marlin fellow. Does Marlin run the blacksmith, or does Marlin run the adventurer's guild? I think Marlin's the adventurer guy. And he's the guy that fights the, the monsters. Aw, the kids are all scared. Poor guys. What's in there? Oh, I got scared too. <laughs> and the kids run away. That's such a cute cutscene. All the cutscenes in this game are really, really nice. There's actually extra cutscenes in uh in these mods that I have, which is really, really nice. Oh, hello. What do you have for me? Coconut, pepper seeds, poppy. I think actually we need a poppy. I don't have enough money for it. I'll get it naturally, I suppose, because I don't have 500 bucks. 
alas. And I can't enter the secret woods this way, but I can, like, through my way in the forest. See ya. So hopefully I'll be able to actually accomplish that goal quicker. What am I going to do for money? Like, right now, I think I have to sleep. Just because I don't really have any, like, energy to do anything else. I have, like, this big grassy area. I'm thinking that this is going to be my... My... Barn and my coop. Because, like, I feel like having it next to the water is good. Like, this area isn't really going to be good for planting anything. So, this is, this is going to be a, a suitable farm like what's it called it's not artisan when you're uh when you're a animal farm like a rancher yeah yeah yeah. i want to be a rancher i want the freaking frog too what's in here nothing what's in here looks like we got the damaged uh greenhouse all the way up there. But what is this over here it looks like a Looks like it's like a, an abandoned shed or something. How do I get over there? Oh, maybe I can cross the bridge and go up. Oh no, maybe I'm too tired to make the journey. There we go. Oh, darn it. I was cutting everything for nothing. I mean, I may as well keep it. It's not like I'm going to sell that for anything worthwhile. Let's sell this. Or just put this stuff away. And my valuables. I'll put away this stuff. Alright, so the next day... What's my plan of action? First, let me check my mailbox. There might be something good in here. There's a landslide blockage by the railroad. And they'll be using explosives tomorrow morning... Well, that's not good. This is embarrassing. I lost my lucky shorts. Mary Lewis, he's like, yo, bring them back to me discreetly. Don't tell the world. That's hilarious. I'm proud to announce that the brand new Stardew Aquarium is open for business. My friend Willie tells me you're an excellent angler. I think that means you're an excellent fisherman. And perhaps you would consider donating some of the specimen you might catch. Oh, shit. Okay. So now we have the Stardew Aquarium to, to handle. I think the aquarium is like up here somewhere. Up by Emerald Farm or something. Damn, we got a bunch of stuff to visit. I wonder if the Grampleton Field mobs are all taken care of. We'll find that out soon enough. I'm going to dip into my little uh, humble abode. What's on here? Anything cool? baked fish that's that's pretty cool life will be difficult today that's unfortunate and it's gonna be sunny tomorrow very cool so we literally made zero dollars yesterday and that's fine we don't always need to make money but uh what do we got Corn is good for two seasons. Who who would have thunk it? You can use corn for two different seasons, according to the uh, the good old tele box that we got over there. If that's the case, we might actually want to to plant some corn. I think I have some blueberries in this little formation here, but corn like it might actually be suitable in the same type of shape. That said, though, let's go ahead and water up our crops. I wonder which two seasons you can use corn for. Like, I would assume it's summer and fall. Because winter you can't, and I don't think we could have gotten it in spring. That said, what do I know?
Almost out of water. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this is so cool. It gives us, like, a little definition of what we're actually growing. That is a very nice quality of life mod. Because, like, sometimes you don't actually know, but now I'm like, oh, it's blueberries. Same thing the further up we go. Whoa, the copper watering can holds so much more water. It's actually, like, amazing. It's probably the best upgrade to get early game. Because, look, it's, already, it's still 8 a.m. and I'm already done watering. And I watered a fucking bunch of plants. Like, I, I spent thousands of dollars in seeds. Which means that I'm going to get, like, thousands of dollars back in car insurance. Nailed it. Um, what's next? I should probably plant those other seeds. Oh, now we have some jelly. First things first, we're going to sell some of this jelly. The other one I'm going to donate to the community center. Hey, what's up, kitty cat? Aw, just a little pounce. That's so freaking cute. Let's go summer seeds. Let's plant some of these babies. Speed grow? Oh, I should have done this for the fucking watermelons. Watermelons take 12 days to grow. Like, that's kind of ridiculous. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's not all of them, but it'll, it'll have to do. It's not like these take long to grow, anyway. I'd rather just have all of my potential plots already doing something. Otherwise, I'm kind of just wasting my farm space. And the other 12 I can have grow, like, right after those ones pop out. So it's not really a big deal. What's interesting is I'm not even going to sell those for money. I'm going to use those for food. Because the forgeables for summer give you a fuck ton of energy. It's, like, really, really nice. So much so that I'm actually going to take a couple when I go into the mines. And let's go ahead and cook up some of these bomb berries. Bomberry jelly might be delicious. Who knows? So, let's go up to the community center. Ooh, and I got some grapes. Don't mind if I do. Imagine seeing just, like, a whole bushel of grapes. Just, like, walking. Walking to wherever you're walking to. Alright. So, it's Monday. Could go into Pierre's. How much would I get for my forgeables? Hey, what's up, Gus? I know a lot about the people living here. I bet you do. My pet guinea pig, David, just hates the hot weather. He's fussy. Oh, that's relatable. Hey, what's up? You're looking dapper in your green. How about, uh... How about I toss you some of this stuff? Having some spending around money is going to be nice. Oh, how much was the corn seeds? I didn't realize I could buy corn here. 150? Oh my god. I guess corn's a good enough investment, but holy shit, 150's crazy. A sweet pea? Can I even... can't even eat this. Yo, Abigail, you want a flower? Hey, how'd you know I was hungry? This looks delicious. It's a flower! Oh my god, Abigail's so fucking weird, dude. Everybody had a girl like Abigail in, in her high school. Like, and someone that's, like, abnormally hot, but just really fucking bizarre. Demetrius is deep in thought. Go you. I wonder what Demetrius has to worry about in his day-to-day -day life in Stardew Valley. <laughs> Surely it can't be bad stuff, right? Ooh, he's no longer looking like a caveman. I saw a heron waiting gracefully through the morning mist. Such treacherous quiet life nice i like that guy he's the homeless oh shit is that a mushroom 
Oh, don't mind if I do. Common mushrooms are are useful for something. I think I can actually use that in the community center. Not the fall crops, not the artisan. Something, yeah, yeah, fall foraging needs a common mushroom. It's not fall yet, and I'm sure I'll get plenty of these in fall, but... Here, before I even go hunting, I may as well just drop these off. I got two things for the community center. Yeah, I mean, I'll do it on my own. I got, I got plenty of space in my inventory. We're already here. We don't gotta, we don't gotta jump around. You know, that'd just be a little silly. That said, though, I don't have a lot of energy, so I'm hoping to make at least five floors. Boosh! I have the copper pickaxe, which, at the very, very end of spring, I had, like, five days extra, because, like, I kind of overdid everything. Uh, so I upgraded some of my tools. I upgraded the, the pickaxe and the copper and water can. Or the copper watering can. Very good decisions, in my opinion. Like, I'm, I'm very happy with my choice. Fucking slimes, bro. These guys are crazy strong. There we go. There aren't too many spaces on this one. Oh, here we go. And this one has some copper. Very nice. Excuse me, coming through. Let's take this. Find if I do. Yo, I'm taking so many hits, it's crazy. Ooh, a red mushroom. I need one of these for uh for a uh, for a quest. It's perfect. Easy. Red cherry bomb. I could use the cherry bomb right now. Too close? Too far? Ah, you know, that's fine. Was not the most important use of a cherry bomb, but I did use it. Hmm. Yo, I think I just killed my tenth slime. Killing ten slimes is like a, an achievement or something. Oh, we got it. Right in the nick of time, too. Alright, now that I'm down here, let's go ahead and eat some of these spice berries. They give us a lot more energy than something that we would have had in the first season, so... Our level progression is actually already scaling. Let's get some of this copper. Let's dip skadiddly out of there. I wish I actually kept the, the copper cherry bomb, because those would have been really nice. Alright, so I don't have that much more food, which is a little upsetting. Oh, nice. Oh, more copper. This is perfect. Alright, so I have 18 more. So I really only have like 9 more swings. It's not a lot. Starting to feel exhausted. Let's go and collect some spoils. I got 14. And now I got 11. Now I got 8. Hmm. Can I eat anything? I don't want to eat this. That'll actually do minus 50. That's crazy. This will do plus 38. That's actually not that much. Considering the payoff. Like, I would need to find two floors worth of shit. I think I'm just going to go over here. Collect my coal, which is going to be at the end of this railroad, and then I should just probably leave. I should have come down here with more mo uh, more moolah. Like, I could probably break some of this coal, or copper, but that's about it. Five. Two, yeah, alright. I'm pushing my luck if I do anything else. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, there's a bunch more copper to collect, but... This is okay. 
We actually got a pretty good bounty, all things considered. Oh shit, we got a quick bug. Sometimes the quick bugs, if you kill them, they just kind of like, like guilt-free give you a give you a staircase. It's very rare, but sometimes it just happens. They're like, hey, you were on there on this floor for way too long. So now I just need one more. Is it worth eating the mushroom? Cause like I'm gonna get more mushrooms. It's not like it's too many. I got some basic retaining soil. That's that's nice. Here, let's kill these bugs. Maybe one of these bugs will drop one of them. So I literally just don't have the energy to it, but like I sure would like to. Bug meat, rice shoot, red meat. Oh shit, it literally gave me one. There's no way. The odds are so fucking low for that to have happened. What the fuck? Th there's literally no reason that should have worked. <laughs> I'm very some I'm very impressed. And quite surprised. But that said, we have a couple things to, to drop off at the community center on our way back home, so we are in good shape. Another successful day. Alright, so now that we're in here, we have to drop off a couple different items. First things first. Um, I got some jelly to drop off. Nice. Next, I have... I need to go to the fall foraging. That's how I can drop off this mushroom. Oh, here's a red mushroom, too. Fuck it. Why not? And here's this brown mushroom. That one's blackberries. Okay. And a cave carrot. Next time I have a cave carrot, I can't eat it. I have to donate it. But yeah, we're doing pretty good. Let's see what we got going for us back at home. I might want to cook up a couple of these different... Uh, ores that I found. I have 30 copper ore. Do I think it's time to make a second furnace? Like, I gotta make one eventually. What's this say? Alex's birthday. Who the fuck is Alex? Oh, oh, Alex usually has the green shirt. Okay. I remember most of these people based on looks, not, uh, not names. Alrighty. Pop back in here. Pet the cat. The cat's asleep. Doesn't want anything to do with me. Oh shit. We can make a glowstone ring. That's pretty nice. Wow. 60 jelly for salmonberry. Or 60 cents for just salmonberry jelly. It's really not a lot. The strawberry jelly gave me like 300 or something, so it shows you the quality of the fruit really matters. Ooh, looks like it's gonna rain. Aww. I like that the cat meows at me. So, since it's raining, all the crops are actually like already up, which is pretty cool. I got peppers. Do I need a scythe for this? Yes, I do. A city side. A city side. Very nice. Let's 
so first things first, I gotta fix some of my bullshit, because I got a lot of stuff here. I don't need any of this, at least not right now. And then in here, I gotta put valuables. Um, which is none of this. <laughs> All this is garbage. The hay I'll need eventually, I guess. This is the only thing I can really sell. Where can I put this? Where was that area in the forest? Like, there was, like, this path by these forgeables, which is kind of cool that I got some forgeables over here on my farm. It's just free real estate. Also, there's so many common mushrooms here, like, I could have totally used the one for food and fun. But that's okay. Now I know. Now, how did I get down there? Nothing to do with this. Okay, then. Cleaning up the farm is always a priority, so this is always nice to do. What I'm really after is the path that I found. Oh, there's a log here. Damn, so once I have the, the silver axe, then I'll actually be able to break these logs. So just because I still have access to Cinder's Nap Forest, or whatever it's called, the Secret Forest, doesn't mean I actually am scot-free. Duly noted. And here I am at the Secret Forest. I may as well gather up as much hardwood as I can. I need a hundred of it to get the... The... What's it called? The horse. And that's definitely what I'm after right now. Not letting too many of these guys hit me. I'm on a stealth mission right now. Bum bum da 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 Ooh, poison mushroom. Potentially fatal if consumed. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> it's crazy how much bigger the uh, the forest is. This is so cool. The secret forest in the base Stardew Valley is like super lame. Oh shit. Whoa, look at this, it's like a maze. Here. I guess I can't. Fascinating. How do I get in there? I'm so confused. I can't see anything. This is crazy. Maybe if I go in through this way? 
Oh, oh. Nope, still not quite. Nope, okay. Maybe in here. Oh, these modders are smarter than me. I feel like there's still something to do with that maze that I have not figured out. There is a secret there that I do not know. Yo, in here there's 10. Like, I almost have 20 hardwood just from the, uh... Just from one day in the secret woods. There's no way all of this respawns. Like, there's no fucking way. Excuse me, pardon me, ouch. Ooh, shit. Hold up. There's another one. Yeah, what the fuck is this? It's a four leaf clover? Hello there! Four leaf clover, I was totally right, it's a fucking four leaf clover. That's pretty cool. Oh, I should have brought my fishing pole. If I had my fishing pole, I could I could get a wood skip here. I suppose it's not too late. Provided I actually know how to leave. Oh shit, I'm I'm literally locked out. Alright, I can't die. I have to be able to leave on my own accord. Ooh, I literally dodged and weaved there. Is this the is this the exit? Yes, let's go. No, not this one. There needs to be a better exit. Oh shit. Get the fuck out of my way. Fuck. 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 Run! Does this one bring me back to the farm? Oh, I think it does. Whew. Alright. That secret woods forest journey, that was terrifying. But I got some good, uh, I got some good forgeables out of it. The fiddlehead fern is something that I'm gonna need. And then 26 hardwood is also something I'm gonna need, so... We got, we got some very, very high value items, I would say. Hmm. Let's go with, this can be in this one. Boop. Now we got 50 hardwood. We only need 100. That's crazy. Put some of these in there for food. Some can go in the junk. Could make a good gift. Noted. I'm gonna go actually drop this fiddlehead fern off into the community center. Very little reason for me to use it right now. Or for me to hold it right now. I'd rather use it. Yeah, we're kicking ass with the community center. Like, it's actually kind of incredible. Look at all the Jaminos. Fiddlehead Fern cashed in. We got a lot still. The truffle is always going to be a tough one. Yo, Harvey, my man. Thank you for patching me up. It was that Shane? Or Shane looks like a schmuck. This summer apparel. This weather makes me thirsty. Bro, everything makes you thirsty. Hey, what's up, Mayor Lewis? Couldn't agree more. 
I lost two crops due to some fucking crows. Eh, that's understandable. Yo, look at this. There's a third game in here. Pumpkin Smashers. And Prairie King. Well, that one's not what we're doing right now. And a little warm me up. Yeah, it's understandable. It's raining. It's a little slow today. That said, though, I think today I've done all I need to. I'm already really low on health and energy. So I think I'm going to sleep. Tomorrow morning, I'll water my plants, and then I'll go back into the secret woods. It was a treacherous journey last time, but we actually got a lot out of it. So hopefully we can replicate that level of success. I guess I'll sell this. What other junk can I sell? Because I need some I need some spending money. I can get rid of this. Yeah, let's sell all this shit. Literally, none of it is necessary. Oh, look at the little kitty. I'm gonna fix this. That's better. All right, let's do it. Oh, finally, we're at level five for foraging. So my gatherer ability will either chance for double harvest of a foraged item and forester trees drop 25% more wood. I think foresting is much better. And those two options, like I think having more wood is definitely just a preferable outcome. So we're at day 10 of summer. We're already doing a lot of progress. 